Well, the war on illegal guns is becoming more complex. According to the NYPD, gun violence is actually down with 652 shooting incidents in this city this year compared to 720 this time last year. They also say more than 4,000 firearms have been seized so far in 2024. And with the use of new technology, along with cutting edge DNA testing, police are finding out much faster where the weapons are actually coming in from and who is pulling the trigger. Joining us now to discuss is CBS News law enforcement contributor and former deputy commissioner with the NYPD. IPD, Richard Esposito. Richard, good to see you today. Um, people watching this could be thinking that an illegal gun is just a gun held by somebody that doesn't have a license, but it's a lot more complex than that. So let's just, let's define illegal gun for everyone. Well, you know, that's the life of a gun. How the gun goes from a dealer, sometimes through a straw purchaser, and then up to the streets. And what the NYPD has done is 750 days in a row, the Gun Violence Strategy Task Force meets at 10 a.m. every day. And it's state, federal, local agencies, jails, drug enforcement. And when a gun is found or a shell casing is found, within five days, they get to the evidence. That's They're moving fast. They're moving with great efficiency. And that's the biggest tool that they're using. And within that frame, you have the bullet casings, the bullets themselves the serial numbers, the DNA, and the fingerprints. What they're doing is they're taking all those tools and using every single one of them across all the databases available rapidly. So once a person is arrested and found with an illegal gun, how important and impactful is that tracing process in getting more illegal guns off the street? Well, it's extremely important. It will link that crime gun to past crimes. If they have the gun, they will find out where the gun was bought, was there an illegal purchase, um, how it got to possibly, how it got to this particular person, was the gun used before? If the gun wasn't recovered, as, as CBS has reported, um, shell casings are often recovered. In fact, more than 200,000 shell casings are recovered nationally every year. And there's, they've created a digital library of all of the shell casings. So you take a shell casing and you can match it and find out where the gun might have been used, were there other victims, and you're neatly tying together the pieces of the puzzle that can take a criminal off the street and solve past crimes. Richard, where are we finding that a lot of these illegal guns are coming from? I know there, there are obviously there are statistics out there and there's reports that close to 90% of illegal guns that are confiscated here in the city come from down south, places like Virginia, the Carolinas, Florida. Yeah, I mean, they, the iron pipeline, as they like to call it, whether it's coming through the south and then through Chicago, then up to New York, that's how the guns get purchased and how they get moved here. And that's an important part of the process. But the techniques that are being used now, more important than tracking the life of the gun across that path, are tracking the use of the gun. So you get these shell casings from an automatic weapon. and you are quickly able, the, the key is speed, you're quickly able to find out has that gun been used before, where has that gun been used before, was there a crime in the Bronx, one in Brooklyn, and put that picture together and solve a set of crimes. So you've taken the gun off the street, you've hopefully taken the user of the gun off the street, and as, as you noted, gun, down, gun violence in the past two years, it's a signature accomplishment of this administration, uh, given all the troubles we're seeing, 40% down, um, and it keeps going down. It's down 9% this year already. CBS Law Enforcement contributor Richard Esposito. Rich, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Good and Richard joins us every Wednesday, as you know, and you can find all of our conversations with him on public safety, as well as a full report of the gun tracing process online at cbsnewyork.com.